What's going on guys? Andy here, Cut and Clean Lawn Care. And as you can see, we got a couple of chainsaws, my drone, a backpack, and Randy Palmer, Cut and Clean Lawn Care. My YouTube career is just hopeless. I hope for this. You see my subscribers go up and you are so pissed. You better jump on board because I'm a blow quick. When it thumbs down or show his neck and I'm a choke it. And you can hit us up on Snapchat like we on there. We're always grinding, shouting out to ring lawn case. Crawling when it's snowing, cutting clean is always blowing. Gotta Andy called me. He's like, hey man, I see you got all that DeWalt equipment they sent you to try out. Let's do something, man. I have a comparable, very similar chainsaw. This is what? The MS-180C, which is a homeowner model. And I know DeWalt uh, pushes it for landscaping, but you're talking about chainsaws. Landscaping-wise, you can use a homeowner. You can use anything. It really doesn't matter. These guys aren't non-stop with trees when you're in the lawn and landscape industry so these chainsaws are very comparable we couldn't get a lot of the specs on the dewalt but so i looked these up on the computer uh this is the the 180c is the biggest homeowner model it's got uh what are these 16 18 inch uh bars um i don't say right i can't remember i can never remember anything 16 inch 16 inch bars both of these do have the same bars they have the same anti-kickback blades. On the DeWalt website, it doesn't give any horsepower, kilowatt powers, or anything like that, but the steel is a two horsepower motor. Uh, once you step up in a, into the 200 series, you gain a quarter horsepower. So the homeowner's model is what I would compare these things to, both of these chainsaws. We both have automatic oilers, chain tensioners, as seen here. And uh, of course, his takes a battery, and mine takes gas. Mine weighed in at 9.3 pounds, and the DeWalt weighing in at 13.4 ounces. And the DeWalt is very heavy, especially with the 7.5 amp hour battery compared to like the 4 amp hour battery. But something, and it's, and it's all preferences, something I do enjoy, especially about something that's battery powered. I talked about it in my video. It's awesome that something like that can be heavy enough and feel that well built for something that's plastic and you know battery operated i think that's kind of crazy that it can still feel that well built but it is heavier which can be annoying if you're out there all day that that will kind of beat you up but what we got here look what we got guys we got all this this is what's called a playground for a couple guys that just kind of want to test out some chainsaws and see what's up so we might knock down a couple trees and do some cutting on them. So, I don't know. What do you think, man? That's some gnarly anthill, man. At one point. Or maybe moles. Or maybe mulch. I don't know. This thing is like butter, like butter when it comes to cutting stuff. Uh, I'm always gonna love the fact that I don't have to pull anything. I would have spent my first five, 10 minutes probably getting my chainsaw to start before I would ever been able to operate it on this tree. Just the fact that I can grab it and go, hard to beat that guys. All right, we got the steel MS-180C. I bought this for my homeowner's edition 
I didn't want to go too small because I do got a lot of trees on my property and I wanted the biggest but yet cheapest chainsaw I could go with. I know to trust steel, all of my equipment steel. So I went with the, uh, the 180C. So as previously shown with Andy's battery powered chainsaw, I do like using it. It's very quick to start up, just pull the trigger. This thing hasn't been started in two weeks probably. So here we are, we're gonna do a cold start on the steel, see how it works out. Now what I can say, just my honest opinion, you know, besides the earplugs, the hard to start, the RPMs on this machine is a little bit more than the battery powered. Uh, I didn't use all the power that this chainsaw has to cut this tree down. It's very wet, it's very wet. But uh, as far as power wise, I'm gonna give it to the, to the steel. But as far as a, as a homeowner's edition, I do like the battery power. It'd be a tough decision. So yeah, we've been cutting some stuff down for a little while, so I apologize if my nose is running. It's a little cold. Speech might be getting a little slurry like I'm Seth the Lawn Surgeon on some tipsy talk right now. And you already know what time it is. <sighs> a tipsy talk! But it's not. We're not out here drinking. But we've been using them both, the Still and the DeWalt, and I'm with Randy. We're, we're kind of on the same agreement. Um, I run a gas powered chainsaw at, at, hold on, let me get this out. I'm not even gonna edit this, I'm gonna keep it there. I run a chainsaw that also is operated by gas power as well. And chainsaws to me have become more of a toy because it's not something I use, you know, on a day to day basis like I do like a lawnmower or a trimmer. That's just repetition, man. That stuff gets old after a while. But a chainsaw's fun. And the gas power, of the still, the motor revs a lot higher in the two stroke. You get a lot more revolutions on that chain, a lot more faster chain speed, I would say, for sure. It's just going up and down like butter. But that's not knocking the DeWalt by any means. Um, do I think it has gas power potential? Yeah, maybe not so much in the all balls out power side of it, but it still took that tree down and cleaned it up just as fast as you could the majority of any other chainsaws you're using. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. This test leaves me a little different. What do you think, man? You're, you're a little different too. At a younger age, I would go with gas. If I was a, if I was a homeowner just doing, just doing small limbs around the yard, I would go with the DeWalt. Reason being, it's quiet, it's easy to use, very easy to use. Uh, you don't have to mix with your fuel gas, your fuel oil gas ratios. Uh, pull starting a, a cold engine on a two stroke can a lot of times be difficult. 
Right. And that and that uh, can also be a pro when you're talking about a landscape or a lawn care business. Having a chainsaw that quiet when you're at a client's house could make a tremendous difference for that Definitely. client. It's like, oh, I'm so sick of hearing this chainsaw. So if you show up and you're not making any noise and you're getting the job done, man, if you're going up to clients' houses, it's just preaching green, if you would call it, green energy. Hey, man, I use nothing but equipment, uh, no noise, whatever the decibel is, so much quieter. I try to go green, no gas. And if you're not causing a lot of commotion and not making a lot of noise and getting the job done, that could probably help you get a couple of those sure. bids. I could see that happening. Sure. I could definitely see that happening. Along with neighbors that, that uh, work nights and are sleeping oh, during the day. Absolutely. You yeah, didn't even think of that. I can fire this chainsaw up at one o'clock in the morning. That is right. And nobody would know. I, I could come out here, I could clear this whole thing out, and I don't think anybody would know. But the minute you fire up that steel chainsaw, people are gonna know. So it's definitely got its pros. It's got its cons along with both of them. Uh, definitely fun coming out here chopping some stuff up, but that's just what we think guys. That's what we think of this equipment. Do I think it's good? Absolutely. Do I think the still's good? Absolutely. So you're not making a win-win or a lose-lose with either, either choice you go with for sure, man. What do you think? Well, I don't know, Andy. Kinda, you don't know. Kind of on that thought. You can stay here with your DeWalt. I'm going home. I'm definitely going this way. When I be leaving everybody strife so clean You wanna get mad and invade my space Because I can leave a sidewalk edge so straight But you must be out of your mind Cause I'm in my prime You probably think that it's a crime Designing my stripes You better just be taking a hike If you in my eyes Says Blake will go up to your truck And cut up all of your trip